In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to install everything that you need in a Mac to start working with Foundation for Sites. You can see if I click here and about this Mac, we have OS X El Capitan, but the process is gonna be the same for all the latest versions of Mac, so you don't have to worry. Let's close this. In order to make foundation work, you will need to install JIT. This way we can clone the repo of foundation. So we're going to click here on download for Mac. And here you can see it says your download is starting, but I have to say that I have never see this, is, but this is never, never working. So we're going to click here on the manual download manually. And then we have this source forge link. This is gonna download the installer for JIT. And, and also we need Node.js. And Node.js will install also NPM, the Node Package Manager. So we're gonna be working with the stable version. So I'm gonna click here. And this is gonna download Node.js. Let's open the finder. And let's wait until it finishes. It's almost done. And first we're going to install JIT. So I'm going to open the, the file. And let's open the package. And you can see here we have this worm. So I'm going to click on OK. And then we're going to open the preference. Here I'm gonna open security and privacy. And we're gonna click here and type our password. And this is here. You can change to the, the permission to anywhere. And we can close this. Let's open the package again. And you can see now we can start installing JIT. So I'm going to click on continue and install. I'm going to type my password again. And it's writing the files and installing JIT. You can see that the installation has successful and I'm going to close this. I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to make this text bigger so you can see what I'm typing. And here I'm going to add JIT. And you can see we have this well, these commands that we can type for JIT. This is the way that you ensure that JIT is working. Close the terminal and close this. Next, we're going to install Node.js and I'm going to click on the package, double click on the package. And here we're going to click on continue, continue again. And let's agree the terms, install, and then we type the password again. And you can see that the installation has completed successfully. So I'm going to click on close. Let's open a terminal again. And now you can type not dash B. And you can see this is the version for the version that we have installed for Node.js. Also, when you install Node.js, it comes with npm, so you can type npm-b, and this is the version that comes with npm. Next, we're going to install gulp and bower. So let's type, we're going to add sudo npm install g for the group or globally, and we're going to install gulp, but also we're going to install bower. So click on enter and this will ask for the password so click let's add our password and hit enter and this might take a while so let's wait until it finish and now we have this you can see that gulp and bower has been installed you can see here we have these worms you don't have to worry for the worms there is no problem with them next we have to install the foundation CLI. So let's add sudo 
npm install globally again foundation CLI and this also may take a while so let's wait until it finish now you can see that the foundation CLI has been installed and you have to get an output like this one a really big list in your terminal so I'm gonna cd into the desktop and we're gonna create our first project it's a foundation and you can see we got these commands so let's create a new project you can see we can type foundation new so let's add foundation new and this will ask what we're gonna make in this project you can see we have a website a web app and an email so let's add a website and the number the name of the project is going to be hotel spa next you can see we have these templates you want to do do you while you want to like to use we have the basic template and we have the sort template the course covers the two templates but since we start working with foundation i recommend that you install the first one we only need the SAS, com the SAS compiler so let's choose the first one and hit enter and this will install the dependencies that's why we installed bower a few seconds ago so let's wait until it finishes installing the dependencies we're almost done you can see that it, we get this you are all set the project folder has been created the node modules have been installed and the bower components has been installed next we need to add cd hotel spa or wherever you have named your project and then we add foundation watch and you can see that the ghoul file has been started working we have this sas and default these are the tasks that we have in the ghoul file this is the project we have all the the files that we need to start working and now you have everything ready to start working with foundation 6 